Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card you got is uh, Hecate um, and this is about uh, reviewing all the every decision that you make. So you might be in two minds about your relationship. Um, you might be thinking of ending the relationship so, or maybe continuing with it. So she's the uh, god um, of uh, death and rebirth um, in the uh, Greek mythology. And you can see this being, you know, there's double uh, these goats over there and or these dogs rather and uh, she's trying to make a decision over here so something is happening uh, you're at a bit, of a bit of a standstill right now you're not quite sure whether to continue with this relationship or to actually move forward with it um, um, move forward with it or to actually uh, break it off so it's it's because it's death you want to maybe end it or maybe you're in two minds about, you know, carrying on with it, with a rebirth. So maybe there's been an apology that has come in. Maybe this person has come back to you and apologized and said, you know, uh, they're sorry for what they did and can we please continue. And maybe this is where you're in two minds about it. You can see there's the moon cycle over there. So there might be, uh, you know, you might just need to wait and see what unfolds from whatever's come out, uh, whatever happens. So maybe just give it some time before you make a decision. So you've got the uh, revision card over here. So this is about looking into that situation and reviewing all the facts from it. Um, so you're in a phase of, of the black moon, so you're not quite sure uh, what is going on. Maybe, you know, you feel emotionally burnt out as well. And, uh, you know, you are sitting and waiting uh, for things to happen as well. So this is about, you know, it's, it's almost like everything stopped at a standstill. This is a dormant moon. Maybe there's also been, uh, you know, maybe communication between you, this person has been stuck right now because this is air, air is about communication. Uh, you know, maybe things have not been going, uh, you all haven't um, been in contact with each other and everything seems to be at a standstill. Nothing seems to be moving and there's also, uh, it's almost like a blackout where, you know, uh, you're not communicating with each other, but things are also not moving and, you know, you, you're trying to make some kind of decision because you're not quite sure as to what to do. And the card above it is got uh, it's the sword card over here, and uh, this is about you know a, um, a breakdown um, of uh, communication between the two of you here. So it looks like uh, you know things are pretty much stuck over there. You're a bit unhappy about what happened. Again, you can see there's two swords over here. Maybe this person has deceived you uh, in some sort of way over here because you've got these two snakes as well. So there might have been something that happened between the two of you over there, and you know you're up in arms about it. You're pretty angry about it. Maybe you want your revenge for whatever had happened, uh, and you're thinking a lot about it. So you've got Mercury with there with Pluto, and you know Pluto is also about endings. Um, and it looks like maybe you're deciding that you want to completely cut this relationship out of your um, um, your arena there. You've got the, the heart sitting there on that sword as well. So, you know, you're, you're heartbroken about it, but it looks like you want to cut off communication. Maybe this person has deceived you uh, and, um, you know, maybe they've even said some nasty things about you because you've got these snakes over there. So, uh, you know, you want to end this particular relationship or you, you're not quite sure whether or not it's worth your while going forth for it. So you're you're in a point where you're everything's stuck right now. You know, in all three cards, you can actually see things are pretty much dormant. Uh, you've got that swords over there with that decision to be made over here, and you've got uh, uh, the Hecate um, um, God, you know, thinking about things. So you're looking into the past over there. You're, you're trying to make plans for the future, but it's all at a standstill right now. You're not quite sure what to do. So very, very, uh, you know, um, conflicted about what is going on. So it looks like, uh, you know, you all had uh, quite a clash going on over there. You've got that dual card over there. You've got the Mars and the Sun. These are very strong energies here. And there was, you know, it's, it's almost very violent energies, uh, very aggressive energies. So there was quite a big battle that happened, quite an uh, um, aggressive um, um, opposition going on over there. It's quite a big fight. Uh, and it seems like you all did not see eye to eye at all. You all, were, you, know, you all had different opinions. This might have been a big argument, uh, you, you know, not necessarily physical, but it could have even been where you're, um, you know, there were a lot of words that were exchanged. Um, and it seems like you all were really opposing each other. So you all are, are looking at things or coming um, from different sides 
uh, and you're not really, uh, you did not really get along at all. So the, there was no reconciliation that could happen because there was such a big clash that happened over there. And there was a lot of energy. There was no solution to this particular problem. You've got the full moon over there. Now, with the full moon, uh, you know, there's uh, the energy there is so bright, it's overpowering. So whatever this fight is, whatever this argument was, it was, um, you know, quite a big, overwhelming uh, revelation that may have come uh, to light or it might have been a lot of energy that was involved so there's a really big argument over there so it's almost like a tower moment a tower battle that happened where there was a lot of um, a drama that went on in whatever this battle was and that this is probably the reason why you are so conflicted as to what to do next so going into the future you've got the last quarter the waning, uh, waning moon and it's a waning fire moon and you've got Hera. So um, you've got um, the last quarter, things coming to a close. You all are still not, uh, you know, uh, connecting with each other. On, you all are not um, managing to sort out these problems. There's no compromise that is being reached because it seems like this is the card of opposition and you've got that dual card over there. Uh, you all are not getting along and you all are not seeing eye to eye about this particular situation. Uh, you all seem to be against each other's ideas as well. And with the fall of the moon, it looks like you want to end this particular relationship uh, because you all are not reaching any kind of compromise. So it seems like that relationship is on its way out with that waning moon. And it's also draining a lot of your energy as well because it's a waning fire moon. So it's taking a lot out of you, all these continuous battles, all this um, uh, opposition that is going on, all the fighting that is going on. Uh, maybe there's a lot, a lot of bickering of petty arguments that are coming out of the situation is draining a lot of your energy out. You've got um, uh, the card of Hera over here, which says that you need to just wait and let things happen naturally. Uh, don't try and do any intervention over there. Uh, it, it might just be, uh, it, things will play out the way they need to play out. And uh, it's, this is almost like the high priestess. So you just need to wait for things to unfold. Um, and uh, and see what happens rather than going in over there because it seems like it's draining a lot of energy out of you going in over there and fighting so much with this particular person. They don't seem to be uh, seeing it from your point of view and there doesn't seem to be any uh, compromise that is coming your way or neither of you want to compromise or lower your, your standards at this particular moment. So it looks like that relationship might be on its way out and instead of trying to make a decision right now, maybe it is best for you to actually just wait and see what happens, what plays out. Out. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be using the symbol on tarot for the main read, or rather symbol on deck. It's not quite a tarot deck. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got you being really depressed and very unhappy. Uh, you know, everything is broken down. You're very, very miserable about what happened over there. There might be some kind of legal uh, intervention as well. So you could be going through a, uh, a legal situation as well because you've got Venus there in um, Libra. This is also about you trying to find your balance again. Uh, it was a very difficult situation. You felt very, very restricted in this, and even financially restricted. So this particular person was quite controlling you. So you are going through a period of great depression, great sadness, and you're grieving the loss of this particular relationship. Now, this card below it is the vampire card. So it's showing that this person that you're grieving about really was an energy vampire. So they were sucking the life out of you, really. Um, there was somebody that was very controlling. They were taking a lot of energy from you. And uh, maybe you didn't see it at that particular moment. They were quite manipulative. Um, but you are crying at the moment about this particular relationship and the loss thereof. So what's happening with you? So uh, you've got the card where uh, you, know, you were being really manipulated, very controlled. You've got this magician with this person uh, caught in this jar here, trying to put things into the jar. You can see the jar has even got a little 
uh, stopper on the top over here. So you did feel extremely trapped in this particular relationship. There was a lot of drama. You got this uh, bottle sitting on that fireplace over there. So a lot of drama. Maybe you felt as though uh, you know you couldn't get out of this relationship at all. And this person was very very controlling. They're very very clever as well. So you you know with a magician you it looks like maybe you were dealing with. Um, um, uh, a Gemini or it could have even been a Virgo energy coming through because you're thinking about Mercury uh, controlling the magician card. This person was very clever, very smart, very manipulative. Uh, you know, whatever dramas uh, were going on, it didn't seem like you could escape. So they had, they seem to have had, you know, complete control over you over there. And uh, they had some sort of hold over you. You've got Moon there in Scorpio, whatever they're uh, they did may have been very spiteful uh, when they retaliated and they were very self-centered you've got the sun sitting in Leo over there so an egotistical person very self-centered very controlling very manipulative and you felt very very trapped within that particular situation you've even got this devil card over here so it was a very very codependent relationship so you may have been dependent on them for financial support but they certainly did control everything about you. And here you've got the moon again in Scorpio. So, uh, you know, whatever they did was very vindictive. When they get uh, back at you, it may have been very vindictively. Uh, so they had you chained to them and you had to follow their every word. You know, they could have been really nasty arguments. You've got this man's hand on the sword over here. So it seems like, um, you know, whenever you uh, try to retaliate, you were cut down to size. Or maybe there was a lot of conflict, uh, you know, maybe verbal abuse coming through over there. But whatever has happened, this person was particularly very, very controlling. And you did feel very, very trapped within that particular relationship. You've got three cards over here because, I mean, you've got the devil card over here and you've got this magician card over here being in control. And the card below this morning card is the vampire card here. And all three cards have got moon in Scorpio. So this particular person, you, know, you, you could have been dealing with a scorpion energy there, uh, but it looks like this person was pretty much uh, a manipulator, uh, very, very controlling. Now, you've, um, you've got this Pied Piper card. So it seems like, you know, when you got into this relationship, this is, uh, the, you know, you believed everything that they had to say. You followed them blindly. So this is the Pied Piper leading the children out. And it seems like maybe whatever they were uh, promising you has not come uh, to fruition. So they never were able to keep promises to you there. And it seems like you may have followed them blindly and did whatever they wanted to, uh, you know, even if it was detrimental to you. But it looks like in the past few months, you know, you're coming into your own again. Um, you know, you've got this Neptune here in Pisces. There's a lot of spiritual growth that has come. You've been spending a lot of time by yourself, and your intuition is improving quite a bit. So you are seeing the light. You can see this man is, or it could be even the Buddha, sitting over there with enlightenment going on around him, his head. So a lot of things have come to light. You are seeing things from a very different point of view, and maybe this is the reason why uh, you've needed to go through this breakup, or this breakup is bringing about uh, a transformation within you. So it's it's you're going through a change, spiritual change, because of what has happened to you, and you want to take back your power again. Uh, it seems like you want to get your financial, your independence back, because you've got Venus sitting in uh, uh, Taurus, and this is all about your your own personal security, your own financial security, and your own independence. It seems like you know you're getting information, you're looking at that information, and you're taking a stand for what you believe in. So this is playing on your mind. This is what your mindset has become. Somebody who wants to take their their control back. So this is almost representing the Empress card, you know, within the main, ta you know, the normal tarot. This represents the Empress card. So it looks like, you know, you want to get that power back. You want to take control of it. And you want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, go it alone. You also want to be in charge of your own life. You want to rule independently of everybody else. The Empress is the queen of the queens in the tarot deck. Uh, she's very powerful. Uh, so it looks like, you know, you want to get that power back again. And that's what you're working for. So you've got this card of uh, the twins here, which is Gemini here. And there is a, a need. You may, you may be making decisions. You are being divinely uh, led in whatever is going on. But you can see this angel's got her finger on her lips. So whatever is going on with you, you need to keep all your plans to yourself. Keep it, uh, keep, you know, mum's the word, as they say. So keep everything to yourself. Don't reveal any plans that you have to anybody else. So whatever you're doing, uh, make sure that you are not revealing what you're going to be doing. It's very, very important to do, to do that. 
So you've got this card of, uh, you know, uh, this is almost like the Four of Swords where you're actually taking a break from things and there will be a transformation. So you're going to be, uh, you know, letting things go. Uh, this is like, you know, it's also got a bit of element of the death card in over there where you're letting things go, letting the past rest, uh, you know, and also healing from whatever's going on. There are people there to help you. So you've got this child, uh, this hand uh, in the clouds, they're coming down to help. So it looks like there are people that are there to give you a helping hand. There's the last phase of the moon over there. So these things, this is now coming to an end. Um, and, you know, whatever you've been going through now, you are starting to heal from it. You have laid that past to rest. Maybe the old person that you used to be is now gone, and you are now waiting to transform into something new. You're also, you know, making plans a little bit in your head for something new to come in. Um, and you've got uh, this card about using your intuition. So you are praying a lot. You might be doing uh, a lot of soul searching and maybe changing the way you're looking at things uh, from a spiritual point of view. So this is about following your intuition and following your instincts. This may be also about getting some spiritual advice or spiritual counseling or spiritual support from, uh, you know, whatever um, uh, spiritual uh, beliefs you have. So whoever's there, like a priest, you might be getting that kind of support. Now you are worried a lot about finances. Uh, you've got this woman trying to save as much as possible. So finances are a big worry for you there after this, uh, you know, separation that you're going through. You've got children to look after, it seems. So you might be a single parent and maybe this is the reason why the financial situation worries you. So this is about caring, nurturing, looking after children at this particular moment. Um, and you stop beating yourself up about things as well. So whatever happened has happened. Stop regretting about it. You are going through a period of heartbreak and it is taking its toll on you, but you need to, to be kind to yourself and stop regretting things that were done in the past. Uh, and you, need, you just need to get on with your daily chores or your daily life and focus on the mundane, really, rather than making a big thing. It seems like you and this person are living two separate lives. You're getting on with your work and doing your things, and they're getting on with their work and they're doing their things. So it looks like maybe, you know, this will be a maybe it might end up being an amicable separation um, if you decide to do that. Um, they're getting on with their life, you're getting with, on with your life. If you're still in this relationship itself, it seems like you're already sort of not interacting that much with each other there. Uh, but it seems like, you know, uh, you need to focus on your daily uh, life rather than, uh, you know, don't spend too much of time uh, sitting and crying over what has been lost. Or what, you know, um, this is very, very important. So you need to let go of this energy and move on. Because it doesn't seem like, uh, you know, things were that wonderful uh, within this relationship. There's a lot of manipulation, a lot of control. But you are starting to see the light or you're starting to see the truth of the situation. And that will bring in, uh, you know, uh, progress. Now you've got the two of Ariel over here. So it's important to have balanced working multiple jobs or projects and making work fun. So it looks like you are focusing on work. You're trying to manage your money over there. Uh, and, you know, maybe you're even looking for a, a second job as well. So this is the two of Raphael. This is also getting your finances in order. You've got the moon card over here. So listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. And you can, you've even got the intuition card over here. So there's very important for you to follow your instincts and go by what you believe in. The moon card is also about feeling a bit depressed. So you do need to let go of that uh, energy. Uh, and the moon card is also about people uh, lying to you and manipulating you. So it is important for you to uh, keep your secrets to yourself. There might be things that have not been quite revealed right yet, uh, right now. So, you know, things are, will come to light. Um, but for the moment, don't make uh, decisions. You know, don't be rash when you make decisions. Think very clearly. That moon also brings in that element of confusion, a little bit of confusion going on around you, not quite seeing, not seeing things quite so clearly because you're a bit emotional right now. So wait till that settles down before you try to do anything big. Now the wheel of fortune is coming in for you, so there's a new beginning, the end of delays, and a change of direction. So um, and a change of direction that offers happiness. So this is very important that things, the cycle is now finished and you will be moving on from this particular cycle. So it looks like, uh, you know, you might be, um, you know, ending, these endings are um, divinely guided or it might be, it's a uh, time that this relationship has run its course. Um, maybe, you know, this person has been very manipulative. You know, the universe doesn't want us to be living in misery. 
and it doesn't want uh, us to be unhappy. And maybe this unhappiness is the thing that has caused the separation, uh, you know, whether we know it or not, unconsciously, uh, when we're going through unhappiness, we're almost asking the universe to step in and help us. This wheel of fortune is uh, you know, a sign that the universe has stepped in uh, to help you get out of this particular situation. So it looks like there's going to be a new beginning, an end of an old cycle, and you're going to be moving on to further happiness. Just make sure that you're not divulging all your information or secrets, and focus more on the mundane, and that will get your mind off whatever is going on or it will help you heal from this particular situation. You are taking some time off. If you need a little bit of a break, a little bit of a holiday, uh, you know, go and spend some time with family or people that support you and heal. Uh, the cycle is ending with that moon phase coming to an end, to a close over there. Uh, and you are, uh, you know, uh, it is very necessary for you to follow your intuition and your instincts. Um, and that is how you're going to be able to heal from this difficult relationship that you've gone through. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.